Hey there, we're going to talk about CanGest tea. CanGest tea we've had for a long time. Um, most of the people that know it uh, for acid reflux disease, where they, uh, you've had an issue with uh, uh, acid, and uh, most people seem to want to take a uh, prescription medication to, to nullify that, but that's not really what works. Tell us well, what about. I like to tell people that before there was a little purple pill, there was a little purple tub. Cancast. That used to be more purple than it is now. Um, Cancast is actually the finest item on planet Earth for the liver. Period. No exceptions. Uh, long before milk thistle became popular, there was Cancast. Is it a detoxifier? Well, for nourishing, for detoxing, for soothing, for healing, it's an all around for the liver. Uh, and uh, I first discovered it for what's now called GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease, or reflux, or acid reflux, long before it was called that, though. It might have was more than 40 years ago, uh, with what they used to call uh, more commonly hypernia. Uh, and you know, I'd used enzymes, and those work, but the thing with using enzymes is they work as long as you take them. The reason you have the, the problem is not because of too much acid, it's because of not enough acid. That's a whole other discussion. Yes, it is. Um, so taking enzymes works, but it's, you take it for a lifetime, which isn't a bad thing, you know, because your body's working. But when I discovered Candice through Dr. Barbakian and the formula that he made, these eight herbs, uh, it causes the body to begin to produce those enzymes that it hasn't been producing. So it actually gets rid of the need for itself. So within three to 12 months of using it properly, as I learned from Dr. Marmachian, you no longer need it because your body is producing the enzyme that's supposed to. You don't need enzymes, you don't need gadgets, it fixes it. And what I learned from Dr. Barbakian 40 years ago was that this by itself would eliminate hepatitis A and hepatitis B. Uh, I've since discovered It'll also get rid of hepatitis C when you add chromium and selenium in the right form and the right amount. Those are liver-specific nutrients. They were discovered to be essential nutrients in the course of liver studies back in the 1950s. So this is, that's why I say there's nothing on planet Earth better for the liver than can just tea. Um, and long before people were using milk thistle commonly, like today, that's the big liver item. This beats the pants off of milk thistle. Um, and but the key is using it the right way. I learned from the man who created it how to use it. It's kind of a funny anecdote um, because I wrote this up and I sent it to the company and you know, he had died long ago. Uh, and you, you have to start using, the, the container says use a quarter of a teaspoon. Well, that's not enough to do anything if you have a serious issue. Um, and I learned from Dr. Barmakin, you start with a level teaspoon and once the symptoms with acid reflux, or that now we use that with hot water or warm, warm water? water? Warm water. Warm water. Um, so you use, uh, he said, use one level teaspoon in some warm water. I think the, the instructions say eight ounces, but it really doesn't matter the amount of water. The less water you lose, the stronger the And taste. it's like an instant tea. Right? Yeah, it's, yeah, because it's made hygroscopically so that it instantly mixes in water. Okay. Now, the less water you use, the stronger the taste, and some people don't like that, but some people don't like it. Some people things. say it tastes like old socks. I, I've, I've tried it more than a few times, and, uh, and I don't think it's nasty at all. But well, I'm one of the two versions who loves the taste of candy. Just loves, loves, always has. But the thing is, when you use a level teaspoon, within 10 days, you will notice improvement in your acid reflux problem. Um, and some people, overnight have said it's gone that's rare but that has happened on more occasions than i can count um, now what dr barmakin said is once you have cessation of symptoms then you can drop it by a quarter of a teaspoon to three quarters of a teaspoon and if symptoms don't return after a week drop it again now if symptoms return it means you haven't had enough healing you know to drop the amount so go back up to the previous level for another week, 10 days, a month, you know. And 
try again to reduce it. Eventually, you'll get down to where you're using a quarter of a teaspoon and the symptoms don't return, and then you can quit. And in my experience, which covers more than 40 years, that's between three months and 12 months, depending on the severity of the condition, how long the person's had it. But everybody gets results of feeling improvement within 10 days. So it's one of my most favorite product of all products because it's so good for the liver, which is a vital organ for healing, for living. Uh, so I love Cantus tea. I love the taste of it. Most don't love the taste. Some hate it, get over it, or be sick. Yeah. <laughs> and you use this a lot with, uh, within different protocols that uh, you talk about on, on uh, your Facebook page. Yes, because uh, if you have any kind of serious illness, you have liver issues. No exceptions. So I have them routinely use Cantus tea with if they have a serious health issue, because it's going to be supportive of everything else that's necessary for whatever their particular health issue is. Gotcha. Good. Great.